you cannot you cannot just put it all in one brush and say all quantum computers are equal. Right. Uh, like the photonic systems, um, they have a very different way of uh, functioning. You know, you have to send thousands of qubits through um, photons. You have to entangle them first and then send them into a circuit. And the algorithm there is called a measurement-based algorithm, kind of like quantum teleportation. So, oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. So, I mean, that's a different way of even writing or thinking about an algorithm. It's, it's almost like you're, you've already got the entanglement there, and now you're writing an algorithm where you are measuring one qubit and expecting the other qubit to do what you want with this one qubit. You know, you're since they're entangled, if you, you manipulate one qubit, the other one is going to change as well. Right. And you're constantly manipulating one and expecting the other to do something different. So um, it's, again, that's a very different way of even thinking. So the question is, all right, well, what can we do with that? How, we, how is that going to be useful in the future? And right. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about.